relaxed morning so far. I, um, I did a bit of housework, but for the most part, I've been lazing around. It feels really good because the last couple of days I've been running around a little bit like a headless chicken, uh, something I always do at the beginning of my holidays because I always have so many plans of what I want to do and what I want to get accomplished. And uh, then, you know, then eventually I, I, <laughs> I truly crash. And I felt today when I got up, I just felt um, like I needed to just have a, a chill day so I did a bit of housework, but for the most part, I've been sitting on the couch, uh, reading, knitting, hanging out with Marcel, and it's been lovely. Um, I'm working on a new cardigan. It is called the Ruta cardigan, and it's by New To Me Designers. It's a, a, a duo, uh, two sisters, uh, the Westrand sisters, and I really love their designs. They're very uh, classic, and they always have like a fun retro or vintagey vibe to them, but uh, still, they still feel really modern and they are very, very wearable uh, everyday pieces. So um, the Ruta cardigan features a lovely all over textural pattern. It's quite difficult, I think, probably for you to see it on camera because of the dark blue, but it's, um, it's just rows of, stockinette and then some garter and there are these uh, little um, little cables <laughs> that uh, you're not going to be able to see but sort of at regular intervals there are crossed stitches that create a, a mini cable and I'm completely in love with the yarn I'm using. This is new to me yarn. It's La bien Cori Worsted. Definitely a, a luxury uh, yarn, um, but it's so beautiful. I bought it at, La, um, at um, Espace Tricot. The Cori Worsted blend is, uh, as you could imagine, they <laughs> it's a Coriadale and Gotland mix. I think it's 75 Coriadale, 25 Gotland. And it's called worsted because it's worsted spun. I, um, I mean, the projects that this yarn calls for range from kind of worsted weight to DK. However, I really struggled. I did a lot of, um, I, I tried out a bunch of different uh, patterns swatched for a bunch of different things in those in those ranges and I, I could never get a fabric that I liked it was always way too loose so in the end I believe the pattern I'm knitting is is actually a sport weight gauge but I really love the fabric I'm getting um, the yarn is incredibly um, fuzzy as you can see and that is uh, due to I think a lot to the the Gotland and it even though it's fuzzy it's also got a gorgeous sheen because it's worsted spun so all of the fibers have been combed in the same direction and also Gotland is a long has a long staple so you can really um, Again, probably hard to see on camera, but in person you can really see the luster of um, of the strands and the uh, the the smoothness of the yarn. It's very very round, and it's um, it's gonna create a really durable fabric, I believe, a very smooth and beautiful um, beautiful fabric. So I'm I'm quite thrilled with this yarn. Um, it's very, very soft. Uh, Coriadale, I think, is a kind of a merino crossbreed, and so there's there's a lot of softness that comes from that. The color is Winterfell, uh, which I love because I am a Lord, um, 
a Game of Thrones fan. And uh, when, yesterday when I was talking about how I would, uh, in the Lord of the Rings world, I would live in Hobbiton and I would be a hobbit. Well, if I was in uh, Game of Thrones world, I probably would live, uh, wanna live uh, in Winterfell because I love the winter and even though the Starks are a little um, moody and stubborn, um, I think aesthetically <laughs> they probably would be uh, the ones I feel the closest to. Um, anyway, but uh, <laughs> hopefully I, I wouldn't live in such a brutal and uh, sort of violent world as Game of Thrones. But uh, um, anyway, the color Winterfell is absolutely lovely it's um it's a as you can see very dark blue what may not be coming across on screen is that it is um it's definitely i guess a navy and it does have a lot of black but it also has some green in it so it, it veers ever so slightly into a teal territory but dark 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 like very very moody and uh, I absolutely <laughs> am pretty obsessed with this yarn so uh, so that's been keeping me busy and uh, the other thing I have been doing is I've been looking through my new book a lot of you guessed correctly I got a book at the quilting shop yesterday. It's Yoko Sato's Handheld Patchwork Treasures. And uh, Yoko Sato is a Japanese designer, quilt, quilt designer. And uh, she does all types of uh, different books, uh, different types of projects uh, from, from large quilt patterns to these very small and sweet um, projects and um, as I was mentioning yesterday uh, Sarah from the Fiber Trek podcast is a uh, is an amazing maker and she's the one who uh, turned me on to uh, Yoko Sato's work she's actually working on the most beautiful little um, I think it's a needle caddy or like a tool caddy with um, with applique mushrooms on it and it's absolutely absolutely stunning um this book is a lot of little pouches and bags uh, as the cover shows this is really the pattern that got to me i love small geometric um, repetitive patterns like this um, triangles, I love small hexagons, I love small uh, squares. I would really love to make, uh, I think they call them post uh, uh, stamp quilts, something like that, but basically teeny tiny little squares that are all put together in different fabrics. Um, these to me look like old um, just old clothing that has been recycled into um, into quilting fabric and uh, I just think it's so so beautiful. She does um, utilize a lot of applique in her work so this lovely um, pouch, a mini pouch that looks like uh, Pussy Willows to me. Um, very, very pretty. Um, <laughs> a lot of really fun patterns like this cute bird. Um, lot, lots of um, botanical details. So you've got the hexes here, but uh, with a little flowered applique design. Anyway, I am absolutely in love with with this book. Um, I had a few people comment that they they were hoping this wouldn't turn into a quilting channel. It, it won't. I, I definitely will be talking still mostly about knitting, but uh, but you know, I think I've always been pretty uh, <laughs> pretty varied in the types of uh, hobbies that I talk about here and um, quilting is definitely something that I am getting into a little bit more. 
doing better remembering these now. We're on number number eight. Crinkled. The color today is very appropriately titled. The name of the color is terracotta. And it's a lovely, very soft, uh, sort of peachy brick. Thank mm -hmm. you.